After a dramatic attempt to pass a state budget which made national news, CBS 17 is staying top of what comes next. CBS 17's Michael Hyland is live in Raleigh this afternoon. Michael, you just got some information about where this goes from here. Right, we're three months into this standoff. We just found out Senate leaders are planning to go home at the end of this month. And they say they're still trying to work out a compromise until then. I want to show you this video that went viral three weeks ago. This is Democratic Representative Deb Butler shouting on the House floor as Republicans took a surprise vote to override Governor Cooper's veto of the budget. Democrats say one Republican leader told them there'd be no vote that morning. Well, since then, the Senate has not taken a vote. And Republican Senate leader Phil Berger says that's not going to happen this week either. Instead, they're going to take up more non-controversial parts of the budget. If the Senate eventually votes to override the governor's veto, then the budget would become law. There should be no question that should the budget override vote come up, that every member of the Senate has been told publicly that they have a choice to make, be here and vote or not. The biggest disagreement here is still over whether to expand Medicaid, and right now people are here talking about losing friends and family members who did not have health care access, and we're going to be hearing from them coming up new tonight at 6. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.